What's up guys? Uh, welcome to VHP Engines. This is going to be a super quick video because it's, it's, this is not really a full review simply because of the fact that this car is nowhere near fully tuned. Uh, just wanted to chime in here real quick to show you where the car is at and also just to tell you what it did before you know that you didn't see on on the, the little pool that's there on that 19 second clip um <clears throat> it's a uh, blake's uh lsv turbo that he put together or that i put together back at the same time that i built around the engine for the car that got stolen um he was always planning on doing e85 and uh doing it to make an actual race car out of it with a 500 wheel horsepower goal and uh you can see there that it's pretty easy. It's going to be pretty easy for him. He uh, that that pool. If you notice, there's no VTEC crossover, right? <laughs> All right. So what happened there is that they haven't tuned VTEC yet because there's not enough fuel. Uh, they're using 1,000 cc injectors, but the E85 is demanding more. Plus, he's got a 255 uh, fuel pump, so that's also probably holding him back a little bit. Now, what you didn't see on there is that the car they actually had it topped out. No VTEC again. Had it topped out at 497 fucking wheel horsepower, but they had to tune it back down because the the fuel was breaking up. Uh, no, you know, bad fuel detonation. Boom, it goes the engine. But anyway, he's planning on going back uh, to do a final tune once the injectors are there and probably a fuel pump upgrade. Uh, he's using a pretty big fucking turbo. Uh, I'll I don't remember off the top of my head, so I'll put it in the description below. Uh, I don't know the exact uh, trim. I just know it's 7580. Um, and I don't know the exact brand, but it's, it's a pretty big turbo and I think it's probably kind of overkill, but he is saying he's going to shoot for 600, which I think is kind of crazy on stock sleeves, but capable, I guess, uh, he's going to use it as a race car and the E85 may save him on that. Um, I don't know how long it'll last with the stock sleeves up there because it's kind of one of those things. If you make any kind of fucking mistake on, you know, you lose the engine, but at the same time too. Blake doesn't really drive that car that much. It's a it's a it's a little toy for him that he's going to take out every once in a while, and I'm pretty sure if a stock K can hold 500 horsepower for several passes, that if he does manage to hit six, it'll, it'll hold for a while as long as he doesn't make any mistakes while he's driving. Anyway, so I wanted to say that that's 450 wheel horsepower he got out of an engine that wasn't fucking popping VTEC, had a stock fucking map sensor on it, and uh, didn't have enough fuel, so. <laughs> Who knows, man? Maybe, maybe he's the 600 was gonna be child play for that fucking setup. You know, even the guy tuning in uh, Genesis uh, Eddie at Genesis Automotive has said too that this is this is definitely not a street setup. Uh, this is definitely gonna be a race car. You know. Oh, plus not to mention the fact that he was doing that shit on 10 fucking pounds of boost. I guess you know that really goes to show you the difference of what E85 can fucking do for you in a tune. Um, 10 fucking pounds for for the b16 the lsvs i've seen to run on pump gas to make that kind of 450 horsepower that kind of power before you know 20 plus pounds of uh, of boost you know and also on a smaller turbo so just goes to show what i was talking about in that one video that you know different size turbos are gonna are gonna flow different volumes of air <clears throat> all right uh so yeah i think that I think that's about it for now uh hopefully i'll be able to we'll be able to see this in the in the next uh or by summer, I think, uh, you know, he's moving at a, re a relatively decent pace now, but just like I am, he's, you know, got troubles of his own with money and shit, so he's uh, pacing himself, or not troubles, but, you know, adult, adult brokenness, like when you pay all the fucking bills by yourself, you know, that kind of shit, so he's uh, moving along there, and hopefully by the summertime, we'll get to see it, and who knows, maybe I can even schedule a trip to go see it myself and get some first-hand footage, alright guys, uh, thanks for watching, peace.